So has the 13th skull been found? And if so, will the 13th skull answer so many of the questions about extraterrestrial activity, not only on the grounds and beneath the ground and the ocean on Earth, but in the skies with so many UFO sightings as well. And this right here, this Ra's al Ghul, is this a hot toy from another dimension? Um, another galaxy somewhere different from where these extraterrestrials and perhaps the 13th skull was created from? Wait a minute, I'm getting a call. Could it be from the 13th skull? Let's pick it up and find out, baby. Hello? 13th skull. Listen, the Hot Toys Wizard. He's been, uh, he's been looking for you, the Hot Toys Wizard. Mm -hmm. You're the Hot Toys Wizard. Well, I thought that you're the 13th skull. Mm -hmm. The Hot Toys Wizard can morph into anything. Well, so can the 13th skull. So, so how do I really know? Mm -hmm. I did hear about the 14th skull. Right, he called me the last time. Uh, the, the 14th skull is an imposter. Okay. Well, he, he did give some great information. Well, listen, what about Ra's al Ghul and, and Qui-Gon Jinn? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really? Already out on planet Telboria. Well, what about Luke Skywalker? Are we about to get another Luke? Mm-hmm. Queen Amidala. You actually helped Disney put out the poster for the 25th anniversary of of the Phantom Menace where Queen Amidala is like front and center, right under Maul. No, I haven't heard about the 15th. Hello? Skull, Skull. Listen, baby. Are we about to get more Liam Neeson figures from Hot Toys? Would we be getting Ra's al Ghul from the Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy for the 85 years of Batman? Would we be getting a Qui-Gon Jinn, an artisan version of Qui-Gon Jinn with rolling eyes function and USB technology for the 25th anniversary of The Phantom Menace? We just got Han Solo. Are we about to get a Luke? An artisan Luke? A Luke that you weren't expecting? Kind of like that Han? And listen... The queen is coming, baby. It's right in this wizard juice. You can see it right when you drink it. Mm. Let's go ahead and dive into all of this. Er right now. And welcome, everyone, to another episode of 100 Proof Shorts right here at the Six Scale Cantina. I am your host, Aries Tarrington, and certainly 100 Proof Coffee right here, baby. Oh, doused with some hot toys, Six Scale magic. Let's jump right into this. And let's go ahead and start off with Liam Neeson. And... Ra's al Ghul and Qui Gon Jinn. And I think it's very, very interesting to contemplate if Hot Toys would consider starting off with Ra's al Ghul, a Ra's al Ghul action figure official announcement. Now, in years past, I think it would be hard pressed. To imagine them releasing and announcing this type of character. When they used to go ahead and produce 
thousands upon thousands, and in some cases, tens of thousands of one figure after another, of every individual figure, or, or, or a great many of them. But, you know, since the pandemic, when production is much, much more low, but announcements are far more high, and you're seeing a lot of secondary characters and and niche characters that are being officially announced, and with head sculpts, you know, with a lot of R&D put into it, you, you do have to wonder if they would actually consider a Ra's al Ghul now. In addition to that, the license that they have with, you know, the Christopher Nolan Dark Knight trilogy, gosh, we have gotten so, so many of those figures. And really, I can go ahead and just flash up on the screen just several to give you a for instance. And as these come up, and I pull them up for you onto the screen here, let's look at Bane. And this is from the third installment, the third movie of the Christopher Nolan trilogy. And this is the second time, the second announcement for a Bane figure from this trilogy and from this movie. And already we're on number two, version number two right here, and already on wait list. So from the third film, we do have this particular character. Now, mind you, he, Ra's al Ghul, even though he was the main uh, uh, villain in, in film number one, he was still very, very prevalent. If you haven't watched this movie, the third one, for the storyline and plot of this movie. But you can see right there, already a second iteration from Hot Toys Out. And then, of course, as we all know, there's been several Jokers, and the most recent, recent from the second film, okay, is this Heath Ledger Joker. Here's the artisan version. You can get it artisan or the sculpted. You could still get on pre-order. But again, and so <laughs> this is one of several iterations that they've already done with this villain from film number two. And then... Obviously, even some other secondary characters like Catwoman from, you know, this, uh, you know, from the third movie right here. Selena Kyle played from Anne Hathaway, and this is the second version of her um, that has been officially announced. And, and don't forget, how many Christian Bales already, including one from last year that... Honestly, when this came out, this wonderful armory uh, here at $570, it was only up for about, like, you know, a few months. And then this went ahead and went on wait list real quick, fast, and in a hurry. And quite interestingly, when you go ahead and you look at the first film, uh, the one that started it all from the trilogy... We haven't even received one of this figure right here of Ra's al Ghul. So you have to ask yourself, is it possible that Hot Toys has reason to be able to officially announce a Ra's al Ghul right now in this day and age? And I say... Yes, they have already the likeness of Liam Neeson that just came out several years ago, very recently for Qui-Gon Jinn. And now with more and more announcements, but less production of these announcements, that also makes sense that you would get a Ra's al Ghul. And if it looks like this, holy crap, baby. Because, you know, this looks really good. Up here on the screen, you know, when you talk about selling uh, 2,500 Scarlet Witches or 1,500 
Gal Gadot Wonder Woman's with the artisan hair or 3,000 Anakin's or 4,000 Jokers. I think you would have no problem selling 2,500 Ra's al Ghul's because it kind of fits in. Can you even imagine this with rolling eyes function for this particular film? And really, would you consider all the different collectors that have invested in the Christopher Nolan trilogy and 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 have Bane and are going to maybe get another Bane or update their Bane and and have the Joker or maybe going to go ahead and get more Jokers in their uh, collection or perhaps get you know keep getting the Christian Bale Batmans and you know obviously get another Anne Hathaway or replace the Anne Hathaway Catwoman would would they would would would, would Ra's al Ghul who also pertains a lot for the third film has meaning there would would that add to a lot of collectors uh, display cases. Of course it would. And of course, this makes sense. From a business perspective, from Hot Toys, they keep pumping out figures and on the villains already multiple versions, but not even one yet of Ra's al Ghul. Is this coming again? Already out in another dimension. And in other parts of the universe, are we going to get one here? You know, so <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. About that for sure. About that for sure. And I tell you what, it's real, real exciting. And if it could look anything like that, holy cow, baby, pause. You're watching 100 Proof Shorts. Cheers to you, baby. Hmm. What about Qui-Gon? You know, and I have this Qui-Gon figure from the first um, release that that Hot Toys put out, and it's a it's a it's a phenomenal figure. I mean, the likeness is is uncanny. It's uh, it's it's really really nice. Um, but uh, do I think that they can do even better? Yes, I do. And if you look at this figure here, and you can imagine rolling eyes function and USB uh, technology and an updated base, um, and even a version with artisan hair, it would be absolutely unbelievable. And probably in even lower quantities than when this one, which I don't think they made so, so many of these, you know, probably around 10,000 or so, but this would be so much more less. Um, I think it makes sense. You know, you do have the 25th anniversary of the Phantom Menace. So when you look at Qui-Gon here, he is absolutely fantastic. For an artisan, if you can get him to look like that and have that hair like that or a version like that, oh, baby. Oh, my. Oh, goodness. That would be just so good. Shout out to those at Table 66. Don't worry. Dark Jedi will be live soon. We will be live soon. And 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 honestly, when you when you look at <laughs> let let's just let's just pull this up on StarWars.com. And here is the official poster, and you'll see some pictures here of the you know the artist who uh, who put the official poster for the 25th anniversary together for uh, the Phantom Menace, and and that is Matt Ferguson. Who, who just did a tremendous job on this artistry for, for this poster. And if I scroll down a little bit and blow up the actual poster here, um, you could see what's, what is Disney showcasing as, as most important for the 25th anniversary or for, for, for Star Wars. Obviously, Darth Maul encompassing everything right on the top. What is second most prevalent? Queen Amidala, that version on the throne. We're going to get into her. And then what's under that? 
Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, which had have had epic battles with Darth Maul. Do I see every figure on this poster that Disney themselves is promoting coming out from Hot Toys? And I say, yes. But you have to ask yourself, does a artisan version of Qui-Gon make sense? And does a artisan version of Queen Amidala make sense? Quite honestly, the Queen Amidala would be an absolute showpiece for Hot Toys. It would there's already a third party who done a who's teased a pretty cool prototype of it. But Hot Toys with this with artisan hair are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. It would be so so epic. And from my collection, a standout showstopper, baby. When people come in to see my collections. Or some otherworldly beings that are, you know, looking at my collections, they'll see the Queen Amidala. And and it would be so stunning that they would pause, which is the split second I need to be able to take a picture, baby. Come on. But... I really, really do. I absolutely see a version of Qui-Gon where they can totally upgrade the version that came out. And when you talk about demand for that with rolling eyes function, USB function, a much better base, and if artisan hair for those that are into that, oh my goodness. And there's so many opportunities here. So many opportunities where you can you can look at this. You know, I'm going to go ahead and Shout out to one of my subscribers, a single songwriter, who, you know, proposed to me, uh, um, you know, maybe a Darth Maul and uh, a young Obi-Wan, uh, you know, two-pack. Because, you know, uh, one of my questions is, is we've gotten a pretty good Darth Maul with the DX-16 and 17. Is it too soon uh, to upgrade that? And quite frankly, how do you upgrade that? Maybe you do. By offering it a two-pack. Now, the two-pack is interesting because, you know, we haven't had a two-pack in a little bit. And, you know, we have that awesome Boba Fett two-pack, you know, where you can only get Boba Fett in the robes with the two-pack. And, of course, the Nightmare Batman and Dark Suit Superman, where you can only get the Dark Suit Superman with that two-pack. So you have to wonder... Is it possible that they would go ahead and maybe offer Obi-Wan only with a, a two-pack with a Darth Maul or some type of thing like that? And I think it's possible that another two-pack or, or a couple of two-packs are on the way and I don't know how they would do it and for which IP and maybe it's across multiple IPs. Um, but it's very, very interesting indeed. Uh, but I do think we're going to get all of these. And when you go ahead and look at, you know, <laughs> you want to talk about a showpiece. You want to talk about a showstopper. You want to talk about that beautiful hair right there, if that was artisan. And you talk about the makeup. They love to put out figures with makeup. You know, take a look at the of the Joker, for instance. You put this out, oh my, oh my, a showpiece, a showstopper, an absolute must-buy for the Dark Jedi. And yes, I did mean a rhyme. Pause. You're watching 100 Proof Shorts here at Six Gale Cantina. Cheers again. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't see a chance where they don't capitalize on this, and furthermore, you know whether it's Loki, whether it's uh, you know Boba Fett, or whether it's this or whether it's that. Hot Toys loves their thrones, the Emperor, and would they actually put this out? You know, with a throne, 
And yes, that would be sick. That would be crazy. And this would be crazy, 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 crazy good for sure. And I really believe, you know, with the showing, uh, you know, from Star Wars and, you know, them bragging on Matt Ferguson and rightly so, you know, with this stunning poster for the 25th anniversary and what they're focused on, you do have to ask yourself if, you know, that's also what Hot Toys is equally focused on, uh, is what Disney is focused on. And it's right here, you know, on this poster. And, and quite frankly, uh, I definitely think uh, out of everyone, certainly the Queen and Obi-Wan, if nothing else, we've never received them before, are definitely, definitely coming. Buckle up. Buckle up for this. You heard it right here at the sixth scale. Cantina. Mm -mm -mm. So, we see what else is on this banner. And you take a look at the current trends. And, you know, Hot Toys keeps collecting and Sideshow keeps collecting data on what happens when they keep coming out with iconic characters, you know, from past films. We saw it. With Ben Affleck, Batman, you know, the Batman vs. Superman, when they just put that out, you know, right before the holidays, right in the holidays, um, and that 2.0, and that was number one for, 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 for quite a few weeks. And now from another movie from the past, that even more distant past, you know, from The Return of the Jedi in 1983... Han Solo, which now has already been up for, uh, you know, over a couple of weeks, going to be a few weeks already. And, and these are both characters that are super iconic, but are not relevant right at the moment with the IP with any television show or any movie. And you have to wonder, you know, do they see that there is a huge benefit a huge profit margin when you go ahead and put up these iconic old characters from old films that don't have much relevance right at the moment. And I say, yes. They saw that with the Snow Speeder Luke. They saw this with the Luke Mando Luke. And they saw this with the 2.0 Bespin Luke. So you do have to wonder, are we going to get another Luke? And I don't think the question is, will we get another Luke? I think the question should be, how many other Lukes in 2024? When you look at this X-Wing, this, this snow speeder pilot from the Empire Strikes Back, you know, does it make sense to put out an artisan version because the hair kind of fits the hair kind of works, especially at that moment. And they already have this figure. And could they actually offer an artisan version? And not even, uh, they don't even have to order, uh, offer an, an upgraded, um, you know, sculpted version. But as I pull this up onto the screen, this would be sick. This would be lights out. This would be internet breaking. You know, when you put this real looking hair, I mean, this looks real, dudes. This looks real. This looks so flipping real. It's absolutely insane. I'm going to give you I'm going to give you a, core, a, a a a comparison. Look at that. And then as this comes up on the uh the screen, not that one. And, and you look at the artisan version of Luke, which I'm trying to pull up over here. It is sick. Absolutely sick and crazy. Here's the artisan version of Anakin. So look at this, that Luke. And then now you got that picture in your head. Look at that. So you got this focus right here. Do you see this on the screen? That, that's a figure. 
that's an action figure. And then I'm going to pull this back up on the screen. Could this be an action figure? And I say, heck yes. And you can see I'm getting excited. And I'm spilling my coffee. Because the other Anakins that they came out with, to be quite frank with you, are all pretty darn really good. Did we really need the artisan Anakin? Yes, because it's like, oh my goodness. And then, honestly, I love all the Lukes that they came out with, but if they could match that artisan Anakin and they could do this, baby, oh my goodness. But do they already have data? Do they already know that if they put out another 1980 Luke Skywalker or a 1977, please just go ahead and do that, or a 1983 Luke Skywalker or any Luke Skywalker, does the data suggest that it will go number one and they will sell a whole lot? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And and, and make no mistake about it. Hot Toys is not just going to focus on Artisan for a long hair Thor, long hair Aquaman, and just female characters with long hair. They will absolutely take advantage, just like in art is doing. Anything in art is doing or anybody's doing with shorter hair you can rest assured, like I've always been telling you, and it's been right so far, they will absolutely emulate it. And I'm telling you right now, when it comes to Star Wars, they are absolutely going to give you an artisan Luke and an artisan Han. For sure, it's just a matter of when, forget about Leia, Padme, and Rey, they're all coming for sure. But goodness gracious, this just gets me super excited, baby. Super, super, super excited for sure. And if you liked what you watched here so far today, consider joining the channel. This is up. This is already up. If you become a channel member, you'll be able to access this video. I just put it up. And this is a great half hour show exclusively for Cantina Insiders channel members. Um, and this has been long debated, but I, I, I look at it from a business perspective and other perspectives as well. And I tell you what, um, you would really enjoy this. All you have to do, besides boldly is just go ahead, click on the little join button, and join the channel. It's cheaper than a dozen eggs in most countries and in most planets throughout the universe. It's also cheaper than gas in most countries and most galaxies throughout the universe. And certainly cheaper than half and half in most places and countries and planets and alternate universes throughout existence appreciate your support it's definitely epic and uh i appreciate your support my friends for sure i don't always buy coffee and spill it but when i do mm, i do it right here baby at the six scale cantina Stay thirsty, my friends.